What's up, y'all? Sparta here. I want to do my comparison between the LG G7 and the LG V40. Now, I'm not going to say LG G7, thank you, V40, thank you. I'm going to just call them G7 and V40, even though that's technically what they're called. That's literally what they're called. It's on the back. So I should be calling them that, but I'm not because that's a, that's a mouthful. So... I'm going to run down my experiences the past couple of days using both these phones. I've had the V40 for like two days now. And I've had the G7 maybe like a couple weeks or maybe a month after it launched. So a little bit under a year now. So I want to talk about these two phones and how I feel they complement each other. And if one is completely better than the other. So both have a Snapdragon 845. This has 4 gigabytes of RAM. This has 6 gigabytes of RAM. I want to say depending on which carrier you get it from. This is the AT&T variant. I got it off eBay. But this has 6 gigabytes of RAM. I checked in my um, impressions video. You can literally see me check it and it does deed and it doesn't say it has six gigabytes of RAM, but I'll show you guys here real quick. Um, okay. As you guys can see, it says there's 3.65 gigs in use, 2.27 gigs free. That adds up to around six gigabytes right there. Technically, it's like 5.8 something, but... You can round it up to six gigabytes. Um, so yeah, six six gigs, um, four gigs, three thousand milliamp hour battery, thirty three hundred milliamp hour battery, LCD display, OLED display. Both of these displays are some of the best in their class as well. I'll get in that. I'll get into that. I think this is like a six point three inch display. And this is a 6.1 inch display or 6.2. I don't really remember. <laughs> They're both very nice. They look very good. If I were to pick one that I like more, I'd say I like the G7 a bit more because it does get brighter. The always on display gets brighter on the V40, but that's, that's neither here nor there, to be honest. Um... Both support quick charge 4.0. Both charge pretty fast. It, they do both slow down around 80%. And 90% they do slow down a dramatic bit. But that's just due to, you know, throttling so you don't destroy your battery quicker than you already are. <laughs> basically. Um, on the bottom of both of these phones... It's basically the same setup on both of these phones. You have your um, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on both of these on the bottom. You have your microphones on one of your mi microphones on the bottom, USB type C and your speaker. On the left, you have your Google Assistant key which is kind of hard to see on both of these due to the color differences. <laughs> you have your volume up and down buttons. On the top, you have on the top here, you have your SIM card tray. And you have your other microphone. Your microphone on your V40 is right here. Or on the side on here, you have your power button, but on the V40, you also have your SIM slash, um, your slim, your slim, your SIM slash SD card. Both of these have SD card slots. Both support up to two terabytes, so you don't have to worry about that. Both are 64 gig, those 64 gigabyte variants. I believe you can get 128 gigabytes in other countries and stuff like that if you can find them on eBay or wherever. Or any other sort of, you know, place. They will be there, I assume. <laughs> but yeah. On the back of the phones, you have a dual camera setup on here. 
and you have a triple camera setup on here. You have dual 12 megapixel cameras on the back and a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. On the G6, you have dual 16 megapixel cameras, one regular, one wide, and you have your laser autofocus and your flash, whereas on here, you just have your flash. Both have your fingerprint sensor on the back, and since, you know, you have your power button on the side, they no longer double as, you know, a power button as they used to on LG phones, and that's pretty much it as far as that goes, and you have two cameras on the front on here. I believe it's one 8 megapixel and one 5 and you just have one 8 megapixel camera on the front on here on LG's site it says that the um front speaker piece acts as a um you know how acts as a tweeter like every other freaking um like every other phone does with their stereo speaker setup but I haven't seen any like proof of that other than on their website i will take it into consideration for my review i'm not going to say anything because honestly i haven't been listening to a lot of stuff through my speakers but both of these have boom box i will say that is it is indeed louder on the g7 because they decided to lower it to for it to be more balanced on the v40 so that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not like way lower. It's louder than any other bottom firing speaker, but it is indeed a nice feature. Nonetheless, both can do 4K 60 frames per second recording and all that other stuff. So let me talk about what I've noticed over these past couple of days. Oh, and you also have stuff like face unlock. You don't have, I can't find voice unlock on the V30, v, God, V40. So until I do, I can't really say anything about that. I'm not talking about Google safe lock. I'm just talking about Google, LG's baked in voice unlock feature where I can say hi G7. Of course, it didn't work. Hi, G7. Hi, G7. Okay, it, don't want, it doesn't want to work for whatever reason. Let's try that again. Hi, G7. I don't know why it doesn't want to work right now. Whatever. I guess I can use my V30 as an example. Yeah, screw it. I've demonstrated it plenty of times on my channel, so I don't really got to do it right now. It's not important, really, for the review. But LG has their own voice unlock feature. I don't know why it's not on the V40, but it's whatever. Mm -hmm. But you do have face unlock, which works mm -hmm. very well on both of these phones. Like, very well. It's nowhere near as in-depth or secure as, you know, your iPhone or whatever, but... It's good enough for what it is. And that's all that really matters. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get into performance. Oh yeah, I don't have my left side registered. Mortal Kombat fans, Katana, Melina, <laughs> it's, it's whatever. But, you know, I want to talk about this here real quick. So... Six gigabytes of RAM versus four, right? So what I have noticed quite a bit is that apps do indeed launch faster on the V40. Despite them both having the same chipset, it may just be that it's more optimized. I don't know. But the V40 runs faster overall there's nothing i can really say and it uses less ram as well overall and everything just feels you know overall smoother like i can go into all my stuff oh 
I'm not gonna go into my gallery. <laughs> I'll just open a bunch of random apps here. Uh, I guess I'll open Snapchat. Uh, that's good enough. I have a game open, so that should offset it. As you guys can see, it did take a little bit longer for the G7 to load the uh, the homepage, but that's whatever. Scrolling through stuff is still very fairly smooth on both of these phones. There's nothing I can say is like egregiously slow. But it's day-to-day -day performance that I would indeed say is better on the V40. Like, it's smoother. It's even faster than, like, my 6T in a lot of ways, too. And that's kind of crazy because this runs a more hefty build of Android. <laughs> you know, more bloated, if that's what you want to say. And uses more RAM, but still. But still seems to edge it out in a lot of cases. Sorry. I just had a coughing spree. I had to take a bit. But <laughs> yeah, with gaming, I would say that the V40 would indeed edge out like the G7 in a lot of ways. It's very smooth, very fast. It doesn't feel like anything is slowing down. Nothing feels like... I can't rely on the V40 in any sort of way. Not that I can't, not that I feel that way about the G7, but you get more of a reassurance with the V40 when it comes to stuff like that. Music. Music, I would say, is a tie. I would put it slightly more on the side of the V40. Like, I can hear a little bit more. Like, it's not something I'm like, oh, yeah, you got to go out and get the V40 now if you have the G7. It stomps it when it comes to headphone performance. It doesn't. It's like an edge case to the V40. But the G7 is still a very, very nice contender for that. I would say if you have the V30, which I will get into that in my... um v30 versus v40 review which i am going to do after this but i want to compare these two first because they're so similar in a lot of ways so yeah i would say that it edges it out ever so slightly on the v40 side when it comes to headphone performance they both can power you know headphones up to 600 ohms of impedance and stuff like that it sounds they both power my Sennheiser HD 650s very nicely. I can hear every detail. Everything just feels very, very good when I'm listening to music on here. You also have three Aptex 3D surround sound on here or DTS-X 3D surround sound. I'm sorry, but you have that. Both of these have, you know, the latest Bluetooth Aptex HD all of your codecs that you can get when you go into developer options, you get all of that on both of these phones, no problem. And it sounds great regardless. Like I said, with the boombox speaker, the G7 edges it out ever so slightly with that too. Because when I'm listening to music or watching stuff, you can feel it in the back of the phone. It has more of an like an oomph to it when it when you're holding it in your hand whereas this it has it but it doesn't feel very overpowering and that's something that i do like about it a little bit more but it's not something that i would say oh you gotta get the g7 if you don't want this both of them have it it's a great feature that i like a lot <laughs> um cameras i haven't really been able to test the camera on the um v40 all that much quite yet but i will say that it does seem to be on par 
with the um G7. I like the G7's camera a lot. I do wish that the main sensor on the um V40 was 16 megapixels because I just like having more megapixels. People are like, oh, 12 megapixels is where it's at. Nah, I don't really care. I'll sacrifice whatever, like, faster focus times and stuff like that just so I can get more detail. I tend to use manual mode more anyway, so it's like I don't. I don't really care. There are camera modes on the G, the V40 that I haven't quite tested yet. Like I haven't tested um Cine shot and stuff like that. I will indeed test that the best I can, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> um Yeah, there's not really much else I could talk about. Selfie cameras both of these are um both of these are decent with selfies like both have an 8 megapixel selfie shooter on the front whereas this also has a 5 megapixel one on the front as well so you can get those crisp shots if you really want it but i would say they're equal in that department and that's totally fine that is totally fine both have, you know, portrait mode, but you get your um iPhone esque portrait lighting when you um use yourself when you use your portrait mode on here. And it's more fast and more fluid to get into all of that on, you know as you guys can see. When I go into portrait mode, oh now it wants to be super quick. I don't know, the G seven wants to be really weird with me today. <laughs> When I'm on a video, it wants to act like it's never had a problem in the world. But, you know, every phone ends up having problems, so it's whatever. It's whatever. Um, what else? Like, I literally forgot about a couple of things I know. <laughs> I definitely know I have, but... Screens overall... I would say both of these are really good. Both of these have a 3120 by 1440 resolution. So they're very crisp. It's like basically 3K at that point. Like it's pushing on, it's pushing on the Sony levels of a you know almost where they're at 4K. LG is reaching 3K territories and that's pretty good. And they both look really nice. You can put 4K image. You can use 4K images as your um, wallpapers on here, and they look very crisp. Like there's nothing that I would say one phone really does better than the other. Aside from performance, I think the six gigabytes of RAM, the extra two gigs of RAM that the V40 gets definitely helps it a lot, and I would keep that in mind when searching for these two so calls i can't test on the um v40 because i can't <laughs> it i need to get the phone unlocked first before i can do that calls on the g7 sound really good i think both of these will have the issue of due to the due to the um speaker the earpiece being far to the right, you gotta position you gotta position your um ear you gotta position the phone by your ear a little bit awkwardly, but you'll probably get used to it over time. But that's pretty much it as far as this video goes. I don't wanna make this a freaking half hour video. And I've already rambled enough about what I wanted to say. So yeah. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for support. What do you guys think of the V40 versus G7? Let me know in the comment section below. You have, do you have the V40? Do you have the G7? Which one do you like? Um, thanks for the support. Hope you guys have a good one. Whatever time of day it is near, have a good one. Like this video. If you liked it, dislike it. If you dislike it, share with people that are interested in the sort of content. And thanks for... 598 subscribers hopefully i get to 600 real soon and have a good one you guys